EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swimming to the ball carrier. Second down, Jacobs once more. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Love looking to throw it. A short throw to Musgrave. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that will fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Love from the gun. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 22, here's second and eight. Here's Williams. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. So he stopped for no gain. And third and eight now. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Looking to throw is Williams. He'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. 
I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. To throw, Williams. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. We're scoreless after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw, it's Williams. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Back to the running game with Swift. Pushes him aside at the 45. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 42. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, it's Swift. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Throwing is Williams. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, Using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime.
So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. Here's Love. He finds his receiver, Watson. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. To throw now, here's Love. Look at the big fella go. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Love. Now he's got it. And it's a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And able to get this out to the 25. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. 
Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And but we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To the air, Williams. A little short pass. This is Everett. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Quick slant to Watson. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Throwing. Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. To the left side, there's the tight end, Musgrave. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Second down, Jacobs once more. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Play action this time with Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Now Love. 
That's taken in by Watson. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Love now. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now Williams. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Has not been a big game for him throwing the football. I think he feels like, let's try something different. Let's use the legs here and see if we can make some plays. And no passing touchdowns, yardage not where he would like it. Try something new, it worked there. Working out of the gun, Williams. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll try again here, second and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. That pass complete to Moore. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. From the gun on third down, Williams. And that is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Boy, hard to catch your breath. Another big play looming, fourth and three. They'll go, here's Williams. And this is caught. He hits more. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. From the gun, here's Williams. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here's first and ten. To the air once more, Williams. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. And I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. Here's Williams. That's to the sideline and pulled in. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. Every player I know tends to play the game in his mind before it actually happens. There's no way he thought that at this stage of the game, this would be his first big run like that. Yeah, but it's got to feel for him like the floodgates open a sigh of relief. Now we'll see if things can open up for him. See if it can continue. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. <laughs> to a knee goes love, and that should be that.
Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.